hi this is Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot and today's prompt for day 21 is what traditions do you have during this time of year and so I talked a little bit yesterday about the fact that the traditions in my family are probably my favorite part of this time of year um we have lots of traditions uh we have cookie baking candy making treat making I don't know um there are treats that basically this is the only time of year we make them um we make plates and um, hand them out to people that we love and care about uh that doesn't mean that if you don't get a plate we don't love and care about you um we have greatly decreased the amount that we do in the last couple of years just because it's gotten so expensive to bake so much. But I think at one point um, we handed out close to 50 plates of cookies a year and we really are down to a half a dozen now. Um, but we still, like this year, I was everybody just like picked the one thing that they just felt like they couldn't do without um and still feel like it would be like i have to have this in order to feel like it's the season you know kind of thing so we did that um my dad has a coffee cake recipe that we make every christmas we i prep it the night before and then make it christmas morning um, it's our tradition that you can get into stockings before you've eaten that's kind of like a free-for-all and then we have to all get together and eat a little something before the candy just gets out of control. And then we go back to the tree and open presents. So that's kind of a tradition. Um, pajamas on Christmas Eve is a tradition. Uh, we, I have kitchen cabinets that are don't go to the ceiling. And I've got dogs. So one of our Christmas traditions since we've lived in this house, which is almost 20 years, I think, is to wrap the gifts and put them on top of the kitchen counter. Like, like I'm showing you, yes, I use my hands. On top of the kitchen counter so that um, the kids couldn't get into them, they couldn't shake them. When the kids were little, nobody could accidentally tear the paper on somebody else's present um, and that sort of thing. And then the dogs can't get into them. So we continue to do that before my kids left to go to their dad's for his part of Christmas break. Um, my one daughter was like, we've got to get presents wrapped and we've got to get them up there because it doesn't, doesn't feel like Christmas yet. Um, we wrap banisters with greenery and lights. Um, we put stockings up. Um, we have the same angel that goes on top of the tree every year. What else? Growing up, we always had a tradition of cutting down our own tree. And mind you, I'm allergic, so I would have to take, back at that time, we took Dimatap for allergies. So I'd have to take it, tastes like grape flavored Kool-Aid or something. I'd have to take that before we went, and then we would go out with my dad, and we would trudge around in the snow, and we would look at all these trees. And we'd be in there like maybe five minutes. My dad would go, there, that's the one. And we'd all be like, no, we can find a better tree than that. And we'd trudge around for like an hour or so, maybe two hours, until we are absolutely freezing. And then we would end up back at that first tree, and that's the one we would cut down. So the last time that we ever cut a tree down with my dad, we got to that first tree, and he's like, that's it. And we're all like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we just cut that tree down and came home. Cause like we we're older we're like oh we've got things to do and we want to be with our friends and stuff so we're like yep we always just trudge around and get cold so you're right that's the tree and it was always too big like my parents have i think like 13 14 foot ceilings in our house and that tree we'd get at home and it was always too big and we'd have to cut a ton off the bottom to be able to stand it upright and then my dad, we had the old fashioned bulbs and he'd have to wire them onto the tree so they weren't actually, so they wouldn't touch, so it wouldn't burn down. But, um, so, um, other Christmas traditions, um, it's, we do Christmas whenever. 
Christmas is not necessarily on December 25th for us. I have been a nurse all of my children's known memory, and I have worked every other Christmas um, since then, since I've been a nurse. So we just pick a couple of days that I have off. And when the kids were little, they didn't know. Oh my gosh, they never knew. Like you could tell them what was that every day. Once they got out of school, the day they got out of school and they came home, you could have been like, it's Christmas Eve. And they'd been like, okay. And so like, it's not like they checked the calendar. I mean, now, you know, but um, when they were little, little. So yeah, so now my kids just, Christmas is whatever day we decide it is. So this year, I think it's going to be the 28th for us. We'll do Christmas Eve on the 27th, and we'll do Christmas Day on the 28th, and the day after Christmas on the 29th, because those are the three days that I have off in a row. I work over Christmas, and I work over New Year, so those are the days we have off. Those are the days we'll do it. So uh, that's kind of like our tradition. Um, going to McDonald's. On the day after Christmas. It's so stupid. But my kids love to go to McDonald's the day after Christmas. If This year they'll probably go. On the days that we celebrated Christmas on a non-actual the 25th, we've gone that day. Um, they get McDonald's gift certificates in their stockings and they want to go to McDonald's. We didn't do that kind of stuff when they were little very much. So it was like a huge big deal to go to McDonald's. Um, doing a movie. Uh, either Christmas afternoon or the day after Christmas, whenever everybody gets like that holiday let down feeling. Um, and like as kids, they'd start to get cranky. They played with all their toys. There was nothing new. They had that. Yeah, like the, the gorge and then the, <laughs> then the not good mood kind of thing. So we'd always like plan a movie and we'd go to a movie and so we still do a, usually a movie over Christmas, um, either Christmas Day or the day after Christmas, so that we just have something different that we do. Um, we always watch White Christmas on Christmas Eve while we wrap the rest of the stocking stuffers or any presents that are still unwrapped. Um, we always spend time every year watching all the old classics like Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and A Year Without a Santa Claus, and um, those types of things, so, and a Grinch movie, so we always make sure that we have time to watch those. I think we've decided that we're adding the, mm, I can't remember her name, Amelia... And Game of Thrones was Daenerys. She did a Christmas movie based on a George Michael song. Last Christmas we had I can't even think of what it's called. Um, that last Christmas you gave me my heart. The very next day you gave it away. Based off that song, that Christmas. I think that the kids have decided that's going to be a new Christmas favorite. So, um, we really liked the actor in there. He was also in Crazy Rich Asians. Can't remember his name either. I want to say Harry, and I could be totally wrong. I can't remember. Amelia Clark. Maybe I'll remember his name in a minute. Maybe not. Anyways, um, so yeah, those are kind of our Christmas traditions. Um, the dogs get a bully stick so that they'll leave everything else alone that's laying around. They're just so interested in the bully sticks. And that's it. What are your Christmas traditions that you do? If you're doing Vlogmas, leave me a link. Let me go watch. If not, just tell me below. Leave a comment below. Tell me what some of your traditions are for Christmas. And um, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I can get better at doing one a day again. We'll have to wait and see. This has been Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot with Tarot Vlogmas 2021, a challenge from Brian at Papa Squirrel. And uh, hope you're staying safe and healthy and happy this holiday season. Bye-bye.